Hello and good day. So today we are going to be finishing off the final journey part one castle event because we've only got two chests remaining and we have just over enough event currency to finish off this event. So overall, including all of the extra gifts, this event was actually quite easy. Um, the first reset I missed was actually the last one last night because it's like, yeah, I'm not going to wake up before 7am. For the sake of it on a saturday what, what, what do you think i am insane um either way that's the only one that i've missed um but apart from that you know we finished with like two days spare so it's about what i'd expect from a castle event if we're talking in their terms um so let's hope that part two of the castle event gives us around about as much leeway because if it doesn't um that's gonna suck <laughs> That's going to royally suck in fact, um, because obviously we need to finish part one and we need to finish part two of the castle event to get Chrono Chang, and considering that's the only dragon I actually need, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd appreciate if, um, you know, <laughs> they don't make it extremely difficult. But anyway, this is this fight done, so now the question is, will this be a Chrono Changy piece or will it be Loki? Because, you know, we've got Loki still to unlock, let's see. And it was Chrono Changi. So that means this is the final piece that we can get for her. And Loki was sitting in the final chest of the event. Which is about what I'd expect. You know, usually I do end up finding the level 6 dragons on the second to last. Or definitely the last chest most of the time. Not that it matters for me because we've got enough event currency for all of it. But it's just the, it's the principle. You know, it's like, oh, of course, every last chest in the event. Typical game. I'm only joking, but anyway, there we go. There is the key, and that does signify the end of this event. So we rescued Chrono Osiris and found Kronos. All that's left to do is find the Changi Dragon. I suppose this is goodbye then. I will stay here to assist my kin before we return to our realms to heal. Wait, really? But I work so hard to ally with you, and and I well. <laughs> <laughs> I know expressing emotions is difficult for you. Fear not, we'll always be there in spirit, keeping the world in balance. And who knows, perhaps one day, all dragonkind and humans will truly come together in understanding. In the meantime, I think there are other dragons who need your help. Fight on, my human friends. So there we go. For that, um, he says fight on, and then he joins our team, which is a little bit strange, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'm just saying, compared to what you just said, that sounded like he was going to say goodbye to us, but there we go, we've got Loki, wonderful. So, um, yeah, with just over two days, all of the chests have been opened, that's pretty much event done. But what you can do is, while you collect extra event currency, you'll see that each level says like 86% complete, 84% complete, so... While you're still earning event currency for, say, the next two days, you can go through and, you know, finish off the remaining tiles because you'll see that each of them gives stuff like scrolls, food. So it's worth going through and just completing them for the sake of it. If you've got lots of spare event currency, might as well get that. Gold. You know, who doesn't need food and gold and stuff like that? Even if it's a tiny amount, you know, especially for lower level players, this actually can rack up to a substantial amount. So, um, yeah, that's what I recommend for you to do. Go ahead and 100% complete every single level. Get all the rewards that you can. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, um, yeah, those weekend events helped quite a lot. Not gonna lie. They were very, very useful during all of this. So, um, aside from that, for the next few days, we don't actually have anything to do, which is rare for a divine event. Or, you know, month-long divine event really I should say um, but we will be having divine chess next week and with the boss challenge event we're gonna have to be logging in every two hours so uh, for anyone that was like well surely the event can't get any more demanding than it currently is <laughs> oh you sweet naive child oh, but aside from that I guess we do also have the dragon master pass to complete you can see that we're nearly at 5k um, we're so close to the end already, and if I just sat down for like a couple of hours, we'd be able to finish that off. Maybe I'll do that today. Um, because, you know, with all these dragons in the breeding and stuff like that, it's just been a pain trying to hatch fire dragon eggs while also doing the event. So, um, 
I think that we will end up going through and just finishing off that Dragon Master Pass soon. Plus, with the Dragon Master Pass, whether it's, you know, free the free version or the paid version, we do have things like gems in there, and considering that next week is Divine Chest Week, which is also Boss Challenge Week, and we need to be getting all those Divine Tickets, if the odds end up looking quite favourable for getting the Chrono Dragon, it might be worth investing a tiny amount of gems into it. I'm not going to put any more money into the game, because, you know, I've never ever spent money on Divine Chests or anything like that. But depending on how it all works, because, you know, this week, obviously, it looked like the castle event was impossible. And then suddenly they were gifting free gifts and giving us weekend events that gave us bonus currency. I actually really did like that. It's just it seemed very unintentional initially. But I don't see an issue with us having castle events like that in the future. As long as, you know, they tell us, hey, you know... We know, it, we know that it looks impossible, but you will be getting extra free stuff. Uh, the fact that this time around they didn't forewarn us, it, it did send a lot of people into a big panic. So, um, I don't know, <laughs> just, just mention it somewhere in the weekly schedule next time, maybe? That, that, that would be um, my takeaway from it anyway. It's, you know, some people were really angry at the beginning after the Water Ancient event, and then they got this one. Oh, oh boy, howdy, some people were mad. Anyway, for now, I am going to be looking at those chest odds when they're officially released, and um, from what we know at the moment, it seems really unlikely, because the chest odds, from what I've heard, which may be completely and utterly wrong, you know what it's like with early information, the chest odds look like they've been increased, but it doesn't look like they've been increased enough for us to be able to get things in a week. Now, the good thing about the chests when they come out, though, is the fact that we do have a couple of dragons in there that are going to be available in both weeks' chests. So that means that... I think it's mainly Seth and the Legendary, but it means that when you're opening chests, you're probably going to be able to get Seth if you're opening up the chests for both weeks. But the Chrono Dragons, I'm not too sure about. So, um, I'm going to be waiting for that when they come out. And like all things in DML, we can speculate, we can use information that we think we've heard from a reliable source, but the most reliable source that we can get is waiting until the event comes out, so then people can pull the numbers out, and then we can do it. Because we did see the same thing happen with the castle event, where, you know, people calculated the castle event map cost before the event was actually out, and they made maps for it, the maps were inaccurate, the actual total costings were wrong, the the elements were in the wrong places for the ones that you could use in each fight. So, I, I, I understand why people want to do it, because, you know, it gives people a head start in the events. But a lot of the times it's not accurate. So, keep that in mind whenever you're seeing information online. Like, on the forums we've got the unofficial information channel, and a lot of the information in there does actually end up being wrong, or there'll be sections of it that are right, and then other sections that are completely off the mark. And that's just what happens with unofficial info. So, that is why in our continued journey for DML, I tend not to share any of that unofficial info. Because it looks even worse when you claim that an event is impossible or easily doable, and then it turns out that you're completely wrong. Um, it's a little bit embarrassing. So, I'd rather not do that. <laughs> not that I have much of a hair anyway, but it's just like, yeah, I'm just going to save myself the hassle, and we'll just wait until it comes out. I mean, at the end of the day, there's not really going to be too much extra that you can do to, like, boost your chances in, say, the castle events, apart from just prepare your breeding dens and prepare your farms. It's like there's no real go-to super, super gamer level XD trick that you can use to just make the events easy. It's just, you got to log in every six hours and do your quests. So, that's what we've been doing for years, and I'm sure that's what we will continue to do, probably until the day that we or DML dies. Whichever comes first, for better or worse. I was about to start quoting Eminem songs, I thought, yeah, let's not do that. It's 8am, it's too early for Eminem today. Anyway. 
like I said, if you are in the middle of the castle event, I do hope that you get everything that you want out of it. It is quite easy this time around compared to what we thought it would be. So I'm happy with that. Part 2 is usually more difficult in terms of, you know, actually doing the event. So um, we'll see. We'll see how it ends up going. If it is much more difficult, I don't think I'm going to be too pleased with that. And I hope to God that the event timers don't change because, you know, at the moment with the, the times for the event, for me in England, it's at 1 o'clock and 7 o'clock. So 1 a.m., 7 a.m., 1 p.m., 7 p.m. And that means that the morning I can do two resets at once before I have to actually go outside. But when, whenever the time has changed, because you know the clocks are going to change at some point, I think it's next month, then it becomes not as kind. And if it goes an hour forward to 8 o'clock, then that's that just means that I'll never be able to actually do an event. Um, I'm really hoping that before that happens, if that happens, um, if it ever gets thrown to 8 o'clock again, that we just have 12 hour resets because at that point genuinely I would just never be able to finish a DML event again that's how close the time constraints end up being I know that a lot of newer players they struggle to understand that it's like but how can I hit an 8 a.m. reset and a 2 p.m. reset like within that time frame it's like yeah I don't know I genuinely don't know how you do that if you actually have to go outside which is why I've been I have been a strong supporter of 12 hour resets for many years now. Um, whether that's actually going to happen, I don't know, probably not, but I don't see a reason why we shouldn't have 12 hour resets instead of 6 hour ones when it's just a net positive for everyone involved. But I guess some people are very, very happy with what, how it already was. Not that I agreed that that's the best way to keep things, but anyway. For now, I hope that you have a fun weekend and uh, best of luck with all of your castle event stuff and your key luck. I hope that you get everything finitoed before the end of the event. And um, I guess we'll look forward to the Divine Chess next week. So thank you for joining me and until next time, I do hope to see you then.